Hey guys, and happy Monday. This is your first Monday that you are on your own with the new door system, so we hope you enjoy it. Just to go over the workout really quick, we're gonna give you the opportunity to do your own warm up, play around with it a little bit, do some fun stuff, do some partner stuff. Um, somebody can always come out of the woodwork and make one up themselves and have the class follow along. But let's talk about the workout. You're gonna have your phone with you to look on SugarWad to see what it is. If one of you wanna take leadership, grab a pen and write the workout on the board for the rest of the class. That's gonna be helpful for all the people that are coming in and then for the next classes. Um, on Monday the 12th, we are working on our strength focus, which is the push jerk or the split jerk, whichever one you chose to focus on. Today will be session five of 13 and we're doing 75 to 85% for two reps. In between that, your superset is that dumbbell split squat. For the dumbbell split squat, you can take down the benches, the leg goes up. Remember, we're looking for that straight shin and not a lunge. We're doing a squat, so think about sitting that booty back into it. If you don't wanna put your leg up, then you can just elevate your front foot on a weight and it does the exact same thing. We're gonna go seven by four each leg. Next, the workout is four time Isabella Jelly. It is starting with 30 power snatches. Remember the power snatch comes from the floor and locks out overhead. There is no squat. The modification for the movement there would be a kettlebell swing make it an American kettlebell swing. So it's mimicking the same movement of that hip pop and then that extension up top. After 30 power snatches or American kettlebell swings, you're gonna take a one minute rest. Each person is gonna have to look at the clock to take their rest because it's gonna vary. After one minute rest, you then complete three rounds for time of ring dips or stationary dips with either a band or no band. Performance is gonna be 10 for guys, six for girls. And from there, for health, instead of doing dips, you may also do push-ups. So we're working on triceps. After ring dips, your next performance is 15 deadlifts. It'll be the same weight you use for the snatches. So if you use a kettlebell, you can either do kettlebell deadlifts or you can set you up a separate bar near you to complete your deadlifts. The scaling guide is six to 10 minutes, so we want you to be somewhere in six to 10 minutes of completion. If you watch the video that I posted last week, you can see what the scaling guide does for you and your workout. And that's it. If you wanna do the optional cash out, it's a four minute max calorie row or air dine. Happy Monday, guys.